Welcome back, everyone. I have to confess up front, you'll be able to tell from the smile on my face, I'm very excited about this interview. Um, I have one, one thing, you've heard me say it before. It was right after the election, it was a women's march in Washington. And it's the first time I had ever seen the banner, the future is female. And I thought to myself, well, I think it's about time that uh, that movement and everything since then just points to the fact that maybe, finally, it's about time that there are issues that we as a society relate to more seriously when it comes to what our future is like, what our families are like, what our history is like. And the reason I'm excited about this is joining me today are two women who came up with an absolutely fabulous idea for a book. The name of the book is Before They Were Our Mothers. And joining me is the editor of that book and person who thought it up, Patricia Nugent. Welcome, Patricia. Very Thank nice you. to have you here. Thanks and so one much. of the authors in the book, Joyce Bouye. Welcome. Thank you. Very nice to have you here. Glad to be here. Um, when we started talking about this book, where it came from, where the idea came from, you, you, I think you probably knew. I was just, I was stunned. Yeah. It's such a cool concept. So tell us about the concept. We appreciate your enthusiasm because well, we're hoping good. males will embrace it <laughs> woof, woof. as well because it's a very, um, it's, it's a book written by women about women. Yes. The concept came to me in 2004 at my mom's funeral mm -hmm. uh, where a gentleman showed up, uh, 90 years old, with uh, memorabilia of their time together and I didn't know this man ever existed in my mother's life. Mm. So um, he brought pictures, but he refused to give them to me. So she still meant something to him, apparently. And when I found her diary after that, I found that he had broken her heart considerably when he took up with and then married her best friend. Mm -hmm. But that had never been anything discussed between us. I didn't know he existed. Uh, we always were discussing my heartbreaks, yeah, not hers. Just and say she that. was, I should have That's known right. why she knew how to counsel me out of. Uh, my boy stuff all the time, but um, that really kind of shocked me that there was this whole part of her life that I didn't know anything about, and she and I were very close. Mm -hmm. So back in 2004, I started thinking about all the other stories that we don't know that die with these women who birthed us. Mm -hmm. So 14 years later, I wrote a grant to Saratoga Arts, and um, it was funded. And I put out a call for submissions and received wonderful stories like the one that Joyce wrote about either mothers or grandmothers written by their daughters or granddaughters in their mother's voice. And I think that's what makes this book so unique. It's written first person, so each woman wrote it as if they were mm -hmm. that woman from their past. Mm -hmm. And they wrote it in present tense as if it were unfolding currently. I hope you're following this because <laughs> what an original, beautiful concept. You know, it goes beyond words. It got, as a matter of fact, the words are just a, a way to exemplify what, what you're talking about. But when you think about bloodlines, when you think about the spirit that's passed between people, and just that whole uh, idea of birthing someone, you said it, uh, and I just want to repeat it, that, you know, finding something out about the woman that gave you life before she was your mother, spoken in her voice, that, I'm telling you, that's it's seriously good. Mm, now, you're, you. you're on the spot here because you, you wrote one of the chapters. I did. You did. Now, what inspired you about this idea? Well, as I said, Trish uh, asked if she was, uh, she was looking for an editorial board, and mm -hmm. I signed on to do that. And then when I read the parameters, I realized I could, I could write this. Um, my mother was a storyteller. Mm -hmm. I had her scrapbook, I had her photo album, and I had her stories in my head. Yes. And um, she was Irish Catholic, grew up in the Tipperary Hill section of Syracuse. The Irish there fought to get, they had the famous stoplight with the green on top, mm -hmm. and she was around in those days when the stone throwers, they did not want that British red mm -hmm. over the green, stuff. and that is still there, that light yes. still, still hangs. She campaigned for Al Smith, Irish mm -hmm. Catholic women yes, got right. together, they had gotten the vote. His, um, his daughter-in-law was a Syracuse girl, mm -hmm. and the family knew my parents, or my grandparents, so she was involved in that. What was it like and, writing um, in her voice? My mother and I 
were very close. My sister used to call me Blueprint. Uh -huh. So it's almost oh, as nice. if I knew her and I listened. I loved her stories. I really, yes. she would iron and I would sit and she would just talk and iron and I would just sit mm -hmm. and listen. And mm -hmm. so it was a wonderful um, release. It was, it's a tribute to her that I am just so thankful I was able to make. Yes, it's a tribute to the your relationships, story. right? I'm sorry. But in your story, you, you, your mother is the daughter while your mother, Correct. while her mother knits. Correct. Yes. That's so yes. interesting. Oh, I can't yes. believe it. All right. Now, we're go now we get a chance <laughs> to find out more about this. Uh, the Saturday, right before Mother's Day, how appropriate. Who thought that one up? Uh, the 12th, Saturday the 12th at Northshire Books, right here in Saratoga. There's a reading at 6 p.m. Patricia and Joyce and other authors of other chapters of the book will be there for a reading. And the book is available at Northshire. It's self-published. You know, this is the kind of book that comes right from the heart. And I got news for you that uh, ah, it's, uh, you have to go to the reading. You have to check this out. You have to talk to Patricia and Joyce and the other authors. There's something here to be learned. I don't care who you are. I don't care what gender you are. I don't care how old you are, young you are. Uh, it's really something. And uh, again, just congratulations to you for coming up oh, with an you. idea like this. This is, I talk to a lot of people. This is a very unique concept. Yeah. And, and I think particularly important, you know, we could jump into the Me Too movement and all the other things that people are trying so hard now to gain traction in some of the th underlying themes that are so obvious in our conversation and must be so dominant in, in this book. So uh, let's just hope that people keep moving, to keep stay with it, right? You That's know what our I mean? goal. Certainly. We want to yep. inspire yeah, others to tell their stories. Good for you. Absolutely. All right, Patricia. Joyce, thank you very much for taking uh, the time to come in. Thank Wonderful you. interview. Thank you. Thanks thank you so much. You're welcome. To see this interview again, you can head to our website, LookTVOnline.com.